Hey guys, real quick, always remember to wear your proper safety equipment when working in the forge. Today's project is the Broken Back CX and we're making it out of a blank of 1095 high carbon steel and a walnut handle. When you're doing your quench, make sure to leave the blade in there long enough to actually let it cool down, and what I'm doing here is testing it with a file. You want it to skate across the edge. Here you can see that my oven is possessed, but we're also going to do two cycles of 400 degrees for one hour in between letting the steel cool down to room temperature. While we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and start cutting the wood for the handle. You're going to want to cut it down to just a little bigger than the handle you want, and you'll shape it down from there. What I like to do when I'm friction fitting a blade for a handle is I'll measure how deep into the handle the blade's tang will go and how far back into the handle the blade's tang will go. I'll then set my saw blade to that height so it cuts the proper depth.
when you're making your sheath, remember to have it slightly damp and then mold it around the knife as much as you can. This will create a better friction fit later on and will hold it in place So once you have the brass rivets in um, and they're secured, you can go ahead and start trimming off small pieces of the leather until you have the excess cut away. You can also use a sander to do this. Uh, just be careful that you don't ruin the whole piece. Lastly, here you're going to want to go ahead and dye the edges and then burnish them, which just means rubbing them um, smooth with some other hard smooth object. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe, and we hope to see you back next time.